must go down this rabbit hole. Down the rabbit hole, Alice fell to the floor, into a room full of doors. On a table, she found a key, unlocked a little door, and took a peek. Oh my, so nice, there's a garden in there, but I'm too big to fit. It's really She took a sip and turned tiny. She shrunk down to size and fit through the door. Now she could find adventures galore. There's a caterpillar on that big mushroom. I wonder if he's nice or if he's rude. Hello, little Alice. You're here at last. I'm a wise caterpillar. Let's have a chat. And very smart But stay away from the Queen of Hearts Stay away from the Queen? I can do that Hey look, there's a big old smiling cat Hello little Alice, how do you do? There's something I really must tell you Everyone here is crazy and mad That means you too Now don't be Dad. I really don't think that I am mad. Who's that over there with the big tall hat? I'm the Mad Hatter. Would you like some tea? We're all having fun. Can't you see? I love to joke. <laughs> I love to laugh. I love to do my Mad Hatter dance. Oh my, oh my. What a strange guy. Beans out 
for something to eat. She cooked some breakfast for the boy, but at the door there was a giant noise. Fee, fi, fo, boy, I smell a little boy. I smell a little boy. Jack got scared and ran away. He grabbed the golden egg on his way. He climbed back down the green bean stalk and gave the egg to his mom. The very next day, he climbed to the sky. He found a golden harp in the castle of Pi. I smell a little boy! Jack got scared and ran away But the giant chased him all the way He climbed down the beanstalk really fast And chop, chop, chopped it down Now Jack and his mom had so much gold They were rich until they were old They both lived happily Ever after! Jack and the Beanstalk! Yeah, yeah, yeah! The end! Yay! Okay, twins, it's story time. How about the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Yay! Once upon a time in a house in the forest, there lived three bears who loved their porridge. They ate it every morning and every night. Papa's was hot. Mama's was cold.
But Goldie was too heavy for Baby Bear's chair, and so it broke! Oops! Now she was feeling really sleepy, so decided to go upstairs to lay down her golden head. Papa Bear's bed looked much too hard. Mama Bear's bed looked much too soft. Baby Bear's bed was the final one. Hmm, let's see. Oh, wowee! This one's just right. Just as Goldie fell asleep, the three bears returned home to discover they were not alone. Someone's been eating Papa Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating Mama Bear's porridge. Someone's been eating babies too. Hmm, let's see. Oh, dearie me. They ate it all up. Someone's been sitting in Papa Bear's chair.
help me, oh help me, won't somebody help me? Never have laughed at you at all. Don't worry, we understand. Let's just be friends. Are we cool, my man? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. Yeah, the lion. Do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do, and it's my favorite. Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. Off I go, adventure time, stick to the to Grandma's house on the other side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here. A clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Dear, I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer, take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear. Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come back. It's okay, dear. Thank you, thank you.
Jack, you saved the day! <laughs> <laughs> now that our story has come to an end, what have we learned from our little red friend? Don't talk to strangers in the woods, and always be kind like Red Riding Hood.
Everyone, how about Little Red Riding Hood? <gasps> no! I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. <laughs> Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Grand for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear. You're going where? He said, um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart He knew the to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have. And Granny, what big eyes you have. And Granny, what big teeth you have. 
the better, my dear, to eat you with. <laughs> no! No! Uh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat you with. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood, and a huntsman burst in from the woods. He broke the door, and he grabbed that beast. Why, I'll give you a pound! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf! And you better stop being a bully, or you won't have any friends! <laughs> well, the huntsman let poor Granny out, and Little Red just blurted out. I talked to a stranger! Confess, Little Red! I've learned my lesson now! She said... She learned her lesson now, she said... Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed. Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special cheese. <laughs> 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 Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, Whoa. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but mom. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh, man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high and found a castle in, in the, the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the heavens and the clouds. Fee-fi-fo-fum, I smell a boy, yum, yum, yum! Fee-fi-fo-fum, ready or not, here I come! Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there, but first I'd better say a prayer! He climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Uh -huh. He said, The giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hen. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Three, five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Three, five, four, four. Ready or not?
Did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs. Oh, but you could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Philly goats. Archie, yeah. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Philly goats gruff. Gruff! Three Philly goats gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goat spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. As the Philly goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me, a baby goat. I'm skinny. You see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, uh, beat it, kid. <laughs> now Middle Goat was next to cross, and off he went trip chop. But on the bridge, the troll appeared. There's a tasty chap. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth, and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm almost skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball. Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> So the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's big billy goat, you hairy monster. Hey, that doesn't even rhyme. I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge. How about some applause? <laughs> Be very hungry. <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too. I dare you go to cross my path. My horns will charge you, shoo! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns <laughs> and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge. Once upon a time. No, wait. Okay. Do you want to tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time. Three little bears went out to play. I build a house of straw today. Said one little bear, and just like that, he built that house, and then he took a nap. 
But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! What? What? I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in. And he did and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. Instead of straw. Out to play went two little bears. My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear, and just like that, he built that house and then he took a nap. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there. Open the door, little bear. Ever been. Oh, oh, no. No. <laughs> oh, I guess we're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. Can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up! I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there! Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! And he tried and he tried and he tried again! <gasps> Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh, Daddy. Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse. I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. <laughs> oh, please. I'll be your best friend. Well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. 
Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions! We're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried! Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side! They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide! Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride! <laughs> We're friends! <laughs> Just like family and family, just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Joey, tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! to a million pieces. Oh my, look what I did. <laughs> oh, well, this adventure has made me so sleepy. I think I need a nap. Goldilocks climbed the stairs to a bedroom with three beds. <gasps> Did that really? 
it's just a fairy tale. Oh, but where are the fairies? <laughs> Funny. <laughs> Hey, who wants to hear the story of the lion and the rabbit? <gasps> Me! I do, I do. Can I pretend to play the rabbit? Well, of course. Uh, I want to be the big bad lion. <laughs> <laughs> of, of course, course you do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in the woods. Along came a bunny from the neighborhood. She accidentally brushed up against the lion's toe. Whoops! <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Lion, she said, and then she froze. Uh, uh, it was just an accident. Huh? The lion dropped his paw, smack on the bunny's tail. Ha 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 ha! I caught ya! Now you're in lion's jail. <gasps> oh, please, Mr. Lion, spare me just this time. And I promise to repay you just for being kind. Rawr. I will, you know. <laughs> That's pretty funny. A little bunny helping me. <laughs> well, perhaps I'll let you go. But only just this time. You're just a little bunny with a feeble little mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. See the smile up on my face. This makes the world a better place. <laughs> you see? It already is. <laughs> and with that, the great big lion let the little bunny go. That was nice of the lion. <laughs> yeah, but you'll never believe what happened next. <gasps> oh, <Wow. hi. gasps> what happened? <gasps> Yeah, <laughs> spill the dirt. <laughs> yeah. One day a hunter caught the lion in a uh, net. Run, run. And suddenly the lion began to really sweat. He roared and roared so loud that the bunny heard him cry. Roar. Is that my friend the lion? Oh goodness me, oh my. Roar, roar. Stretch. The hole became so big that the lion made it out. He looked at her in shock and said, What's this all about? Oh, well, that's what friends are for. Whatever do you mean? It's good to help a friend. I always keep my promises to the very end. I told you I'd repay you, Mr. Lion C. This is a gift that always sets you free. <laughs> See, you're free. <laughs> the lion purred, and they lived happily ever after. Like best friends? Yes, indeedy do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> <laughs>have I got a story to tell you? Oh, boy! <laughs> Is it about monkeys or, or bananas? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no. It's a story about my family. Oh, like when you were just a born? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's about me and my two <gasps> brothers. Oh, cool. cool. I want to hear. Okay. Three little pigs went out to play. Let's build a house made of straw today. Said one little pig and he built it. Yeah. Yep. Then he took a nap, but a wolf woke him up. Oh, huh? What? Oh, who is it? I see you in there. Uh -huh. I see you in there. Oh. Open the door, little pig, beware. Uh -huh. He knocked on the door. 
let me come in Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in oh, And he did and he laughed with a big mean grin <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> The straw was just too easy to blow away <laughs> Then I shall build a stronger house Out to play went two little pigs Let's build a house made out of twigs Said one little pig and he built it Yup Then he took a snooze but that wolf woke him up The nerve <gasps> huh? Huh? <laughs> huh? What? I see you in there You do? I see you in there Uh oh uh, Open the door little pig Ooh. beware Oi. He pounded the door Let me come in Not by the hairs of my chitty chin chin Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house Ooh. in And he did and he laughed with a big mean grin <laughs> Work at all. I think we need something stronger than straw or sticks. Mm -hmm. Just one little pig, and she had to think quick. Mm -hmm. I'll make my house out of sturdy bricks, said the third little pig, and, and she, she built, built it right up. up. Then she took a snooze, but that wolf woke her up. <laughs> huh? oh. I see you in there. Uh, no, you don't. I see you in there. Big shot! Open the door, little pig, beware! I don't think so! He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house <gasps> in! And he tried and he tried and he tried again! Right! <laughs> and the three little pigs lived happily for a long time in their <laughs> brick house. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, well, where are the bananas in this story? <laughs> oh, Charlie. Charlie.